Hey guys, do you have too many USB cables dangling around but none of them work? You have a fast charging on your phone but it still takes a long time to work? Maybe, maybe the fault is not with your phone or the charger. Maybe it is the fault with the USB cable that you're using. Maybe this might be the culprit that does not let you get the right current transferred from your charger to your phone. So, how do we test that if it is if it is that culprit or not? So that is what the purpose of this video is today guys. So I'll be discussing how do we test the USB cables that you're using is appropriate for our phones or not. So for this, we would need an application called Ampere that I have already downloaded on my phone from the Google Play Store. If you can go to the Google Play Store and see re ampere this is the application here i've already installed it on my phone and to test the usb wires that we are having you just need to open this application and connect the usb cable that you want to test so as soon as i connect the usb cable to my phone i would see a message that measuring and i'll give it some time a good amount of time maybe around one minute to you know to get the right measurements of the current that is coming in and you'll see what, uh, how much current is this USB cable able to deliver. So to understand if we're getting a number, right? We're getting to see 570 milliampere. But to understand if this is what my phone needs or is it less than what my phone needs or is it more than what my phone needs, we need to understand the maximum USB current. If you can see the fourth line from the bottom, in this application where it mentions maximum USB current 1500 milliampere. So this is what my phone requires actually to be charged properly. So this my phone can take up to 1500 milliampere easily but the charger that I am using is still not able to give me the complete charge. So this means I would have a reduced performance in the charging and my phone will not get charged as quickly as it should have been charged. So this is the indication that I need to change my USB wire. You can see it is still uh, 300 milliampere that I'm getting and the maximum I got from this wire was 570 milliampere. And the readings take some time to you know get the right value. So that is what I'm suggesting to use to give it around a minute to just settle down and then we can know the right readings. Now let me use a better charger, a better charging cable that I had and see what the difference in the results. So now guys, I have connected my second charging cable, which is not the best, but it is still better than the charging cable I used previously. And let's wait for the measurements. And how do we identify if it is the best charger? If you're getting a USB current, something around, you know, 1500 if it writes as the maximum USB current for your phone. If you are still getting something around 1000 milliampere to 1200 milliampere, we can still consider it as okay charger. But something, anything below half of our maximum current is not acceptable at all. And if you can see, this charger is only slightly better than the pre this charging cable is only slightly better than the previous one that I'm using. So you can see from this experiment that I am having all bad chargers. I mean, bad charging cables. I should not blame the charger. My charger is a good rated charger, which gives two amperes of current output. But my charger, my cable, the charging cables are not good enough to deliver that current to my phone. And this is only slightly better than the previous charging cable that was giving me something around 300 to 500. And this cable is giving me something around 500 to 700 milliampere. And one more thing, guys, uh, before conducting this test, I would request you to, you know, discharge your phone to 10% of below. Because there are times when, I mean, many of the phones that have fast charging, they use the fast charging only till... A certain point some phones do fast charging only till 30 percent of the battery and once the 30 percent of battery is uh, reached the fast charging would stop 
and some other phones have it like 50% once the phone reaches 50% of its charge uh, the fast charging stops so to get the best results about your charging cables uh, I would suggest that we use uh, we use this test when the charging of the phone is below 10, uh, is 10% or below and you can see this wire is still good comparative to the previous uh, charging wire because it is still I mean that's what I said to you in the beginning that let us give it some time to get the right reading so if you spend some one two if you leave this uh, connected to the phone for one two minutes and then we can get the maximum amount of current that it is able to deliver so it is around thousand milli amperes it is still better than the previous one but it will still not give my phone the right performance that a phone needs so hope this guy uh, hope this video has helped you guys to you know would help you guys to identify your chargers which are working or which are not the no notorious thing about this charger charging wires is that all of them look great from outside they look as if you know they have they are sturdy they are well built but it is all the devil is all in the details so when we put these charges to actual charging wires sorry uh, when we put the charging wires to a real test on application something like this then we get to know the reality they might look beautiful from outside but they are not good enough for your phone if they are not able to deliver the maximum current that you need Hope this video, you guys find this video useful and identify your faulty charging wires and replace them. Do like and share the video if you found it useful. Thank you guys. Bye-bye. Happy New Year.